Hey guys, welcome to the another episode of my of our kite podcast. And then I'm I'm gonna repeat myself. I have many black t-shirts, the same one. It's not the the one I use all the time. So I keep that in mind. Today I'm with the um, Tony Vadisic and his sister. Tony is one of the best um, world racers, and his upcoming sister is joining him to train. I guess because the Wapros Olympic Games in 2024 is going to be mixed format. We are in Levantana during the Hydrofall Pro Week. Just going to have a friendly conversation and see what's going on and how the stuff, how they came to be, who they are, and what's going on in life. What's up, Tony? What's up, bro? And hey, Marina. Hey. hey, so as I introduced, this is Tony Vadis again. What amazes me, Tony, is that first of all, I did I've done my research and I found out that uh, from Slovakia, Slovakia, Slovenia, it, Slovenia. You actually, how what's the population of Slovenia? Slovenia, we have uh, two million people around. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there are a thousand foilers. Do you, do you know how many people live in Moscow? In Moscow, more than that. More, more than 12 million. Yeah. And what really amazed me is that how you manage from, I would say, such a small country without really, as I see, without the heat, a lot of people potential reach to, to be the best, you, you manage on your own to, to climb up and be one of the best followers out there. So I would really want to hear your upcoming story. How did you start? What did you do? How's it all begin? How did you manage to be so good? Well, at first it started with my dad. He was always foiling, cutting. I mean, back then I was still on the race board, mm -hmm. uh, the big old thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, but, I remember that. Yeah, uh, but after that, like 2012, he had an uh, operation on the back. He broke his back, hernia disc. So he couldn't uh, continue the sport he the loved, racing. Uh -huh. the racing. And then uh, there was still all the equipment and everything we had. So I tried, showed some talent. He had many contacts, uh, knowing the better guys, mm -hmm. with whom I was able to race later on in the in my life mm -hmm. when I was uh, 12, then 13, 14. Okay. And that that was that helped me improve a lot because without that, without without my dad, I think mm -hmm. with just a basic coach who would doesn't know how to foil okay. or know that this many people, I wouldn't get as far so okay. fast. And uh, yeah, then basically it went on. 2012 also the first okay. voice came out. First voice for us. I mean, uh, they just like to train. Yeah, yeah, yeah try exactly. Them out. To try them out. The roof voice much earlier. Have and you spent many days in what? Do you, do you train a lot in general? In general, I spend around 100, 150 days of okay. the year in water. Mm -hmm. Mostly in summer, because in winter I stay three months at home or more. Mm -hmm. For uh, recuperation, uh, do a okay. gym, uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. That was I think is that um, I think you're an example. Is doesn't matter where you're from, even if it's a small country, you can still make it. You know, if you I guess if you train I think, hard. Yeah, that's true. And, but and you I, have a goal in mind. Exactly, but I feel being small is not. Don't I don't I don't see it as a uh, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I see it as an advantage because we know everybody and everything mm. you see on me now it's not just from kiting it's from many different sports okay. learning asking them about discipline about going about okay. the body the body structure for example, okay. example my coach is a uh, coach athlete coach mm. my dad is the sailing coach so it's not everything so it's uh, a tight connected. community that really yeah, helps yeah. you grow from different perspective and different sports exactly yeah and then um i see a hat from uh, olympic games youth olympic games 2018 Bro, you finished second. Big congratulations, huh? Thanks, man. That's that's amazing. How did it go? Tell me more about it, because I, I, I've read the um, reports a lot on Facebook, but you know, I just want to hear from you, from the silver well, champion, huh? Yeah, well, it was amazing and an awesome once in a lifetime experience. I was super lucky to get there. It was super hard uh -huh. with everybody racing. It was there was a lot of kids, 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 18 years old mm -hmm. like me, a little bit younger and you cannot underestimate anybody you have to be there 100 percent of the time okay and uh, just yeah with i and i focus. Have, and i heard that even um at the twitter process it was with the with the tight system of a protest it was even harder than in the races just to to, to be constant without any disqualification that was really hard you had to it was better to keep clear yeah. of the guide than to get uh, caught up with them because yeah. you get caught up 
there is uh, no uh, no no time in the between. Mm -hmm. There is only race, 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 and mm -hmm. the judges uh, they they see everything, but they don't know how it feels for you to be on the water. The guy, the other guy, maybe get you tangled. Uh -huh. It's his fault, but you're also in the water, and you didn't get you then they didn't always give you okay, a redress, you know. So that could uh, like. Make okay, your so, score. Yeah, so it was. I guess it was just. Okay. I feel like it was much, much tougher. Yeah, to keep, was, to keep clear of other guys. Was it? Was it the, the downwind? Well, or upwind. No, it was uh, mostly. This was reaching. Reach, reach. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so big border space. cross. Everybody like mm. start together, four guys, and okay. that was at the end, and just go around the buoys. So basically, the first one thousand meters and something for the first buoy. Okay. You make the first buoy, and you're like ninety percent of the chance of okay. winning the race okay um, how many races per day were, were you making there? we were making around uh, six eight races as mm -hmm. many as we could because they want you know they want many yeah, races yeah, like absolutely. always uh -huh. and uh, yeah it was really hard to keep con uh, to keep to keep clear keep constant mm -hmm. in the front but once you got to the top four and I managed to get there it was winner takes all okay oh, really yeah Damn, that's rough huh? I came there as uh, in third place mm -hmm. And then I uh, managed to get in second. Uh, big congrats to Derek Conner. He's an awesome guy. He won the race. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everybody, not just him. Everybody was okay. super good. I wanna. Did, yeah. he, did he qualify to Olympic Games uh, from the first event? Yeah, I qualify. I was super, super lucky to qualify straight in Dakla. Uh, okay. I won the Europeans, mm -hmm. which I won for 0 0.9. Damn, against, that's close. That was really close. I already did the last, the, the very last. Uh, uh, Race, the very right. race race. Yeah, I didn't make it to the finals. Okay. So I thought I was out. I didn't even uh, go, and luckily I didn't count all the, all the points. And the other guy thought he already won. Okay. So he finished second that race. Okay. And which meant uh, if he would have won that race, he would be 0 0.1 point in front. I okay. don't know how exactly it came to this. Yeah. But yeah. Damn, that was close. That was really close, really stressful, and I was super happy. I didn't have to go to China. That saved a lot of money, a lot of time for school. Guys, school is important. <laughs> yeah. Keep keep studying. <laughs> yeah, remember that. Um, so, who who's, who who are your sponsors? Well, my sponsors right now. I, I was super lucky to get from Ozone. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, guys. Uh, Mystic, and then a sponsor at home, uh, Jadranas Vez Slovenia. Okay. The uh, Zavarvalnica Trigla. Well, the guys okay. at home will understand what this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, also, I think and the big sponsor, Daddy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the family is, is the family most important is thing, really right? Family is really important, yeah. And as we just speaking about sponsors, let's just plug your Instagram, sir. Like it's gonna be yeah. here. Well, what's your Instagram? I'm gonna tap it here, but just tell them. Uh, Tony Vodishek, uh, Vice uh, World. What? I don't know. Actually, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I just put <laughs> it here. Marina, do you want to tell yours one? Um, Marina Pika Vodishek. Yeah, we're just gonna put it there. Marina, that <laughs> Vodishek. Marina, that Vodishek. Uh, Tony Vodisek, uh, youth uh, vice yeah, uh, Olympic gonna, champion. We're gonna try to, to put it there and see yeah. it's gonna be fine. That's awesome. And we are in, um, you've been competing a lot and I, since I remember when I when I came to the sport you were competing there and you've been to this event multiple times. How do you I've been in Mexico? to this event, to this exam, uh, event here in Mexico, I've been 2016. Okay. Uh, unluckily I could, I, no, just then. Oh, just then. Uh, just then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unluckily, there was uh, it was really far and really expensive to come here. Mm -hmm. So now this is why I'm here with only my sister. Mm -hmm. We're training together, and without the parents, so okay. it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, but yeah, okay. 2016, and now the place hasn't changed much. Super nice wind, super nice conditions. Just to go out, there's like sand, sand everywhere, mm -hmm. and like you just wake up in the morning, wait till like 10, 11. The wind okay. is already here, and that's like yeah, and, like good guys like you. Yeah, and Armin and other guys on the water with us, that's just like, this is the life, guys. That, dude, Lavin Chandler is good, it's winning really, really. And then, as you speak, your sister, because I think, did, when did you, Marina, when did you start to, to train? Um, in, I started foiling like in Jitseria in okay. the summer. Okay. Did you start on the foil or just kiting in general? No, kiting in general, I started um, since I was seven. 
Yeah, so it's, it's, it's 2008. Yeah. She's been cutting for a long but, time. Like, I cut it like only on vacations, okay. like maybe once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. So and he now, was like, and now, and now I guess it's because it's Olympic Games, yeah, so. and everyone needs a team because he's probably gonna be mixed format. Yeah, you're gonna be his partner in yeah. training, right? Yes. Yeah, so. I'm gonna make a man out of you. <laughs> <laughs> How is the training so far for you? Is it? How is it? How do you like the whole? Is it, is it going to be your first races here? Are you going to compete? I don't know yet because I haven't learned the, the turns yet. Uh -huh. I just know like how to go left, up and down. Right, up, okay. up and down, yeah. And um, I started like yesterday on the foil kite okay. before I was on the okay. pump. So slowly so getting do, there. Do you, generally, do you enjoy foiling? Yeah, I think it's Are really you... relaxing. Uh -huh. I mean, I really like on the water. It's okay. when it's like really clear. Okay. Like, yeah. The the, the feel, yeah. Also, the feeling of just flying there. Yeah. Like There's the... no sounds. Nothing. You just like, you glide yeah. above. So, Marina, um, are you excited about the the future events and? How how you feel about the racing in them? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, well, we we'll, we will work really hard. Okay. To I like I race. like that that's one because I think this is the key. You have to work hard. Yeah. You have to push it, and you always can get it. Yeah. And I think also um, for you, it's kind of just you starting out, and we've see, I've seen your progress in the water. It's, it's not bad. And how do you like the the switch from a tube kite to a foil kite? Well, I don't know. I'm. Already, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, it's okay. But Usually, it's for every for everyone, especially in the strong wind. It can be a bit scary, yeah. but then when you get used to it, it's kind of it's all smoothed out, and you just enjoy it, and you, it's really nice, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I have we have a new segment. Maybe it's not new now because we've done a couple of uh, episodes, but it's gonna be new for you guys. This is the best one. Audience, I need applause. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blitz question. <laughs> this is so nice. far, it's been a big hit. <laughs> Everyone loves them. The, the rules are simple. It's a blitz question. I ask you a question, and both of you just have to uh, answer them as fast as possible. Okay. Right? There is no pun intended. Thing is just it's just fun. Because okay. I, I thought it's maybe you now we need to introduce some fun stuff to the episode, you know, to smooth out and make it fun. So the first one, uh, actually, it's gonna be for Tony. Because Tony, you know, you, you, I know you like cheese. What's the best type of cheese? Parmesan. Parmesan. Easy. Right? Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, do you want to start a cult? A cult? What's that? It's a cult. It's like you know, it's like a group of people who believes in one thing and just want to do all this and like, destroy everyone else. But. We already did this. This is the cat community. We believe in cutting. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> do you like Do you like pineapple on pizza? No. No. Okay. But Gordon like... Gordon Ramsay would be disappointed. Yeah, actually, I like I like like in Hawaiian pizza, but it's I think this is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Like strange cheese. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> what would it be called? Protest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um, no, what? What's? What's? Your, is your gun no, no noise? Sorry. What is your gun noise? Gun. Gun noise. It's like you know. Pew pew. pew. <laughs> what's your gun noise? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess what shorts are you wearing? Also on Mystic, I guess. Also on Mystic. Also Mystic. Good. Um, rate yourself on a scale from one to ten. How weird are you? Eleven. <laughs> I would say. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. 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 Okay. Eight. I think I, I think I'm, I'm I'm probably like three, two. Three, two. Yeah. So like five. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um. If you had to choose one animal to help you win a fight, which animal would it be? Against her, Tiger. a cockroach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lion. Lion. <laughs> nice. I would probably choose a bear, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, if you're going to fight, you know who you're fighting, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I guess. Uh, what's your favorite drinking game to play when you're drunk? Or you, when you're just fuzzy? Mm -hmm. 
I guess it's. Uh, no, you know what? We're gonna skip this question. It's. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're gonna skip this question. It's, it's not the best one. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, is a cereal a soup? No. Why not? Why not? Because it's a soup. Means like uh, okay. First, it's not. It's milk. Okay, so what is milk? You know, you, 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 there's, there's like in the milk is organic. Milk is from a cow, okay. so it's organic. Okay. That is water and vegetables. So okay. this is the first difference. Okay. Yeah. Well, but do you know, like, let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, if it's a salmon soup with the cream, cream soup, they use milk. They use less milk. <laughs> <laughs> so is cereal a soup? I don't know. <laughs> I've I never been asked this before. <laughs> <laughs> what was last furry thing you touch? What last? furry? Fur, fur, yeah, fur is like a fur. Like a like dog? Fur. You're I mean, like, yeah, 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 you think. Yeah, I, I like the dog. <laughs> 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 okay. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Neither, I drink water. <laughs> okay. How are M&M's are made? Sorry? How are M&M's are made? M&M's. How are they made? Yeah. Chocolate. Uh, I don't know, no idea. And I didn't eat them in quite a while. Really? Yeah. Okay, um... You know, the last question. Okay, yeah, finally. And this one is important one. So please pay attention, guys. Okay? What do you think cats dream about? <laughs> me. Well, supposed to, yeah, it's... When they see me, they dream about me. I mean, come on. Okay, okay. all the cats. All the cats. All the cats, okay. What do you think, Melinda? Mouses. <laughs> Mouses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's been it's been a great episode, you know. Tony, I think let's just to finish it up, I think, because you you're really good at cutting, so what advice would you give for the let's say if you're a beginner and you let's say you're struggling with the tux tux and jibes, what would be your advice how to improve them? How to improve them? Tax and jibes. Tax and jibes. Like, you, what, what's your secret, bro? What, what's the sauce? Turn, turn the, the best sauce, like I said, put some parmesan on it. Okay, okay. And go fast. The more you fall, the better you're gonna be. Don't your falls, like, don't, don't that make you stop. Because, like, in everything, in tugs, jibes, downwind, upwind, and also speed, the more you crash, the more it hurts, the better you're getting. You know, you know what's funny? I had this, when I was learning tugs, I had the, exactly the same thing. So I was, I was going downwind and I was crashing a lot. And I was like, you know what? I think if I'm going to crash harder, it's going to be more painful. Yeah, but and, then, and then my brain is going to automatically make me better rider because my brain doesn't want me to crash and exactly. get Exactly. And you're gonna, if you're going to crash, you're going to crash harder, that means you're already improving. Yeah. You know, that means you're already getting faster. Oh yeah, dude, that's that's true. That's really nice. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So first, I want to you, Marie, to speak, and then Tony, I want you to speak. You see, there's a camera, mm -hmm. and I wanted just to tell one thing for the viewers that you think right now is important in this exact moment. It can be happy birthday, what's up, mom, hey, dad, <laughs> or it can be like an inspirational thought, like you know, go big or go home. Just what's on your mind. Important right now, look at the camera and tell it to the people. Um, I... Mar go, go, Marina. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> hey, uh, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. Um, work hard and play hard. hard. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, Tony. What's about you? Enjoy your life. Whatever you do, is it skating or whatever, have fun. If you're not having fun, just like forget about it. It's not worth it. Dude, damn, that was good. Damn straight, bro. Exactly. Thank you very much, guys. Um, that was another great episode with Tony Vadisic and his sister Marina Vadisic. <coughs> uh, they both. Tony is great rider. Marina is upcoming great rider. They're gonna be a great team, I believe, in future. As I said, we're trying to push this podcast every week on Wednesday. So tune in. If it's in English, there is gonna be Russian subtitles. If it's in Russian, there's gonna be English subtitles. All the links for the guys are gonna be in the description. And just you know, if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. And thank don't, you. Don't guys. forget to follow on Instagram, Tony Vodishek, uh, Youth, yeah. Youth Olympic <laughs> 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 Champion, and Marina Pika Vodishek. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bravo White. Wise Champion. You know what? It's gonna be little as an SMI. How do you say this when the people's. Um, what? 
when the people uh, they whisper into the mic, you know, and it's like a ASMR, bro. So, <laughs> why, you know what? Bye bye, we're gonna sign out right now. Goodbye, guys. See you next time. Bye, guys. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>